<laughs> oh, we're driving through them like a hammer and anvil. Hello, everybody. Grace still plays, and we're back with more of the Last Leviathan. No time for BS. I wanted to go into the versus mode and dedicate this episode to the big beefy behemoths of the seas. That ships over 45,000 power. So the real big guns. I, of course, have created a little ship of my own to go up against them, and I'd like to see how it fares. The ship of mine, if I can find it, amongst all of this crap. Somewhere down here, there it is. The Mighty Wedge. The Mighty Wedge, a giant platform of level 3 deck cannons surrounded by the level 3 spike armor. For So, for some tips for you guys. The level 3 spike armor, or spike armor in general, provides a lot of defense for a little bit more weight than things like shields. But it's very cost effective, and it provides a ton of hit points, so it is good to have on you. Let's check out what we can be up against here. Oh man, there's so many choices. Let's go up against something with roughly the same power level of as us. We have either the Yacht or the USS Ghost. I'm not sure how well this is going to render on the screen. I'm quite interested to see if there is some frame lag. Wow! The optimization is going really well. Things are super smooth. Before, there was no way that this would be able to render and run as smoothly as it is. Let's try and get some initial fire off. You'll notice some of my cannons do fire below, below the waves here. Unfortunately, not the best way to get firepower downrange. Oh boy, this thing is pretty damn fast. But how will it fare against the mighty wedge? Here we go! And the, the fight is on! And holy cow, there is, there is death and destruction everywhere. And we've already exchanged some blows, but for the most part, it appears like both of us are in decent shape. I may have to... Yeah, you know what? Let's go up here to one of these top deck cannons. I always oh, run aground. Why would this happen? Why would he go straight for the island? It's like a sitting duck. You want to see something funny? What's funny is when you line up and then you press the left click mouse button. <laughs> that's how that's how quick the firing goes. It's like a hundred miles an hour. That was a terrible, terrible fight. I will never understand why the AI feels it necessary to run straight for an island. To be fair, that's never really happened before. I don't think I've ever seen the AI run itself aground like that. That was really strange. Now, if you remember, we had a couple of other real strong ships here. But let's give holy crap. Look at this thing. I don't know if this will be able to load. It's got 76,000 power. I have no idea how many blocks are in this thing. Let's give it a shot. Oh, 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 it looks pretty good. Little, little bit of a, of a slower frame rate than I'm used to, but it's not terrible. Let's go click on, if I can click on one of these top cannons here. Excellent. This, this should be quite the comparison here. May need to dial down the speed a little bit. The Mighty Wedge is surprisingly nimble for a ship as it is. It can go up to about 20 knots. We're definitely laying in some damage. I think what's happening is we're hitting the masts. But man, you can hear a lot of our shots are also hitting the water. Oh boy! You know what? Let's go ahead and line up here and try just the left mouse click button. Here we go! Oh yes! Again! Fire! Yeah, baby. Oh. For some reason, the left mouse click is just so substantially faster. Ooh, we are starting to get out of the way here. Oh, we are not lined up anymore. Hold on. We are taking some heavy defensive fire. But we've got quite a bit of armor on that side of the boat. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Let's lay right into them. Fire, 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 fire. <laughs> oh, we're driving through them like a hammer and anvil tactic. And that, my friends, is what the mighty wedge can do. It will wedge itself into your boat. That's actually why I made it. You'll see there's spikes in the front. It wedges itself into boats. 
and it just drives through them like like a battering ram full of gunpowder and anguish what else do we have here how about one of these unsinkable ships perhaps we could use one of those the modern batter sh battleship we'll give this guy a shot it's got 42,000 power compared to our 65,000 but it looks quite well built so I am curious to see how it handles we're gonna go straight in with the wedge formation one thing to note about the wedge if you are going to use the mighty wedge as the wedge you have to slow down before you try and just trounce the boat in front of you otherwise what will happen is whoa did you see all that firepower oh baby oh baby oh we're we're taking it pretty hard here but there we go the wedge is the wedge is buried inside whoa we ended up going straight over them Oh boy, oh boy, oh it's tipping, it's tipping, it's tipping. It is not tipped over though, which means that we haven't won the right way yet. We've got to line ourselves up and fire away. Oh, I think we're going to get some heavy hits in here. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, the wedge is in, the wedge is in, and it is slowly driving through its opponent in the most dastardly of ways. Oh, I love this thing so much. It's so funny. Ooh, we are taking a lot of fire though. You can see those those rapid fire cannons are coming at us big time. Rah! Oh yeah. We just took half of the boat off with that last slice. And the modern battleship is down. Now the question is, how do these guys fare against the Mighty Wedge? I'd like to try a few of them out. So let's put ourselves up against the Mighty Wedge. I have so much firepower on the Mighty Wedge that there's no way that this thing is going to run for a fight. And if it does, then I'm a liar and a bastard. So, let's get ourselves a down here and selector. And what do I want to put against it? I kind of want to... I want to try one of these ships. Go way down here. I almost want to try... No, nah, we're not going to try the modern battleship. I want to try the USS Ghost. This thing is a massive broadsider, and I'm very curious to see how well it operates. Wow! Look at the speed on this thing! 20-something knots for a ship this big? Color me impressed. Good gravy! We are bouncing all over the place, though. Here we go. Now, this is some broadside capabilities. Let's turn to face... Fire! Whoa, we just got knocked out. Holy crap, our cannons just got knocked out. We got to turn. I'll select one of these cannons and see what we can do. I'd like to try and aim up correctly. Man, we need to slow down. We are going absolutely ballistic on this thing. There we go. This is perfect. Oh, firing a little low, but that's all right. We're, oh, we're, we're aimed up now. Oh, God, we're taking a huge amount of fire, though. Oh, that's coming straight at us. The wedge. The wedge is using itself like a wedge. No, it dropped. Did you see that? It literally cut straight through the middle of us. That's awesome. Oh, what a... What a build. But I feel like we could do better. Maybe it was because we need to... The problem with the wedge is that it's so decent at keeping speed, and it's very maneuverable. I've made this ship extremely maneuverable. So it can keep up with broadsiders. But here's what we're going to try. We're going to try and race around it and stay away from those frontal cannons as best we can. I want to get on the side. Now, if we do get on the side, you can see right here, I'm trying to outrun all that firepower. Oh my god. It's so hard to fire. Because of the speed that we're moving, I need to slow down. There we go. You can see right here, we're going to get some big hits in on the side. But it does have a lot of armor that we have to contend with. Let me see if I can get us turned a little bit better. That is a good... Oh, it's a good turn. But again, it's able to turn to face almost immediately. And we're dealing with all those damn cannons. Oh, and then it's driving straight through us again. No! No! 
No! Oh, we've been rolled over. And we're defeated again. This is the first... This is the first ship that I've built where the... <laughs> The AI does a better job piloting it than we do. All right, we've got to take this thing down. Hold on. There's got to be something here that can take down the Mighty Wedge. I know there is. Let's go back over to the workshop. We could try the Unsinka Brig. If you remember that guy, the Unsinka Brig was one of the leading beaters when it came to just sheer amounts of death. Let's get rid of this thing that's right in the middle though we have to get rid of this fire cannon there we go that way we can clear things out so that our multitude of mortars can do their thing now we are super slow oh let me see if i can get some early shots in those are nowhere near we gotta aim way up how about that nowhere near as well this is gonna be this is gonna be a hell of a fight guys because we have a ton, a ton of ship that the the Mighty Wedge is going to have to get through. But the problem is, is that I don't know if we can do enough damage. And we don't have any maneuverability. Our maneuverability is essentially zero. Oh, God. Oh, 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 is it coming at us? It is. It is starting to come at us. Oh, God. All right, we need to get lined up and see if we can lay in some of these mortars here. No, there it comes. There comes that heavy firepower. Oh, oh, we, we got some good mortar fire in. We did. We got decent mortar fire in. Oh, we're getting flipped. We're getting flipped. No, no, the Unsinka Brig is going to get flipped. Oh, but it, our own ship ripped itself in half, but it's still in one piece. Well, not one piece. It's in two pieces. But it's still in piece enough to, to be counted as a ship that can continue to float and exist in the water. Damn it. All right, so we've got, you know, I'm not satisfied. <laughs> I am not satisfied at all. There has to be something here that can deal enough damage. Oh, boy. The USS Ghost, we tried that one. The big one. We haven't seen the big one go at it yet. And with a name like the big one, it's got to be good. The question is, will it have... The speed and maneuverability up. Oh, they built the big one backwards. I know exactly what this is like because I've done it before as well. The problem with building your ships backwards is sometimes they land on this island and it will take out it will take out your your fins. So you won't be able to steer quite as well. Alright, how are we looking here? Where is it? Oh, she's over there. We've got a couple of mini cannons. If I can what the hell is going on here? What? What in the world? Oh, wow! Oh, this thing drives crazy like... Okay, hold on. We need to calm down. There we go. Let's try right about here and see... Oh, I know what they did wrong. They've got these mini cannons upside down. Oh, they've got them sideways. That's what's going on. Let's pick one that's right ways up. Yeah, because if, you, if they're upside down, you have to pilot them upside down. Let's see if we can get some early shots in. Oh, I can't, I can't even see what I'm doing any longer. There we are. Excellent. Yes. Die, damn you. Damn you, mighty wedge. Ha no. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, we've got to turn. We've got to turn this way. We're going to try and broadside it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. We're actually getting damage in now. Oh, wh what the hell? Oh, 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 God. All right, okay. Just need to calm down a little bit. Can't quite go all willy-nilly that much. Oh, it's coming behind us. No, we're flipping. We're turning over on our sides. No, oh, this cannon is built sideways as well. Crap. God dang it. Damn you. Ugh, the mighty wedge. The mighty wedge takes another one home. Oh, and he has to drive right through us like we're not, like, like we're nothing. Like we're just slobs that are meant to be driven over by a giant boat. <laughs> this thing is bullshit. <laughs> okay, one last one. You know what? We're doing... We're doing... M Grindulus the Mighty. This is all I got left. You guys have seen Grindulus the Mighty in my last... in my last video, if you've seen the last episode of The Last Leviathan. Grindulus 
is the ship killer. His and as you can see, I built him backwards. That's why I have to turn around to actually come to face my opponent. This is the ship killer. His job is to decimate and destroy ships and leave nothing behind. And that is what we're going to do. Yeah, you run. You run away from Grindulus. Everyone runs from Grindulus. Can he take the beating, though? Can he take the beating? Oh, it isn't facing us. Oh, you have made a mistake, my good man. You have tried to run from the beast. Rah! Oh, yeah. We didn't get a huge hit there, but you can see we destroyed several blocks of that ship. And now we're going to finish them off. We're going to get lined up. We're going to wait for them to turn to face us. And now we're going to drive our way through the heart. Through the heart of the mighty wedge. Grind you less. Just taking bits and pieces off at a time. Oh my god. Oh, it's it's horrifying. How could anyone stand to see brutality of this level? And there we have it. So there is a way to beat the Mighty Wedge, and that way was Grindulus the Mighty. Real quick, I want to show you guys the Mighty Wedge up close. We'll go over here to the creative mode, and I'll just kind of show you what I did for it. The Mighty Wedge can definitely take some additional things to kind of make it a better ship. It really needs a a deeper hull but that will add a lot of extra weight but we i definitely need to put the hull deeper here and the reason why is so that it sits slightly higher thanks to all these cannons because half the time these frontal cannons are below the water unless you slow down and like i had said what you want to do is you want to go slow and then right when you're getting close to kissing that ship that you're up against, you want to slam on the acceleration and drive these spikes in and then start firing with all your cannons. And at that point, you don't even need to be zoomed in on one of these cannons. You can be zoomed out like this and just press the left click button and it'll be rapid cycling all that firepower. Now, the other thing I told you guys about was the protection. If we go over here to say a shield, your highest level of shield gives you 150 power, 75 weight and 300 health. But the high for 150 power. But the highest level of double spike guard armor gives you 200 power, 300 weight, and 1200 health. This is what I'm talking about. You're dealing with 300 health compared to 1200 health, and it's cheaper because you need two of these. Remember the the double spike armor. If I go over here to look like I'm going to remove it, takes up two spaces, whereas the shields you would take you would need two of them to take up two spaces. So it would take 300 of power of this for 200 power of this, and you're getting 1,200 health compared to 300 times 2, so 600 health. Now, you are getting more, quote, power from this, but that's because that's just the cost of the shield. The power in this instance isn't like damage or anything. It's just telling you the cost of the item. Now, the one thing that you do have to deal with is you're, you're gaining a lot of weight. So this these shields only weigh 75. This double-spiked armor weighs 300. And even this fish scale armor weighs 100. So two of these will come up to 200. And this is still 300. But again, two of these comes up to 500 health that you're dealing with. And it's 400 power compared to just the 200 power here. And the 1200 health compared to 1000 health. So other than that, I did put a keel over here. And the reason why was because there was so much propeller power on the back. You can see how many propellers I have on here. It's ridiculous. There was so much propeller power that this thing was like shooting straight up like a rocket. So I had to put some keel on here to weigh the front of this down. And other than that, it, it's just I've put the double spike guard armor in as many places as I could. The reason that I have it over here is because when a mortar shell comes down, I did want some protection to try and save our little guy right here from getting destroyed. If I wanted to be crazy, I would probably take these two cannons off here and like build an entire square around this. I think that this being broken from the ship is what destroys your ship completely. So you do want to protect this as much as possible. And the reason I don't have any spike guard armor here is because it gets in the way of this, this deck cannon. 
So that's kind of why. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this behemoth style of the last Leviathan ships over 40 and 50,000 power. I really like these big powerful ships. They're so fun to just see to just get a ton of fire out and a ton of shells and mortars and explosives and fire out and see which one can last through. Join me for the next one. Until then, stay foxy and much love.